Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Chaos Lord, or uh, uh, I mean Chaos Minion Steve. Yes, unfortunately, he is still Chaos Minion Steve, and who knows? Who knows? He may just get a promotion today. We'll see about that. But let me just tell you, I took a huge amount of time to get here, and I was enhancing our progression the entire time. And I can't even imagine, see that's the thing, that's the one thing that Warsword has always been relatively, um, shall we say, imbalanced about. They, they tend to make the very high level units very difficult to obtain. And that's perfectly fine, because obviously the high level units, they are very, very powerful, and... Well, it's kind of difficult to actually get them, and once you get them, you want to make sure that they stay alive, but then... Because of how long it took, you probably are going to have had a couple of scrapes and knocks everywhere, and in a various amount of battles, you would probably be close to losing some of the time. But then you go into a siege or whatever, and this one unit that you have leveled up into the highest tier then gets killed instantly. And you think to yourself, hmm, that's 12 hours of my life, I'll never get back. And yes, that's exactly my point. That's the reason why I enhance progression, because this right here, this army, I, I'm pretty sure would have taken probably days. Probably days of playing maybe, I don't even know, six hours a day? I, I don't even know. It depends on how efficient you are and how fast you actually can find bandit parties to fight. If you're going to do this legit, then... I mean, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you in actual fact, because you can see here, right? So, this is, he, he th these guys have 742,000, right, experience, and they need 782,000 to level up, so they need 40,000, okay? So now, because of enhancing progression, you get 1,000 experience per time you do that, so... Let's just say, okay, that you want to level up a hundred of these. That is four, well, forty times a hundred, which is, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, that's a silly amount, a silly amount that you would have to do. Obviously, if you're fighting vassals constantly, then no problem at all. You'll probably be able to level these guys up pretty easily. But think about it: it's forty thousand experience. If you get two thousand per time fighting a vassal, and every single time you are almost losing. I don't even know, five of them? By the time you actually get one of them to level up into the unit that you want, they're going to have either died or perished or, or something, and you're going to have diminishing units. So, yeah, it, that's the one thing that I would say about Warsword that is a little bit imbalanced, and that I would like a little bit changed, because obviously before that, you would have Freelancer, and you'd be able to level up your own guy, you'd be able to get money and armor and, and all of that cool stuff. And then it wouldn't actually matter so much if you were to actually lose a unit or two because you would just be like, oh, no, no problem. I've got, I've got enough money. But in this case, it's going to, it's going to be kind of, kind of harsh. Now, I've seen a couple of comments, uh, well, kind of addressing my style of humor and, well, technically sense of humor. And I, I gotta say, that's, that's kind of disappointing. That's kind of disappointing because I actually thought that most of what I say is usually relatively amusing. Obviously, there are those bad puns, and that's the thing. That's very subjective because, to me, even if they are bad, I mean, I, I know they are bad, but that's what makes them funny. I mean, maybe you don't get that, or maybe your sense of humor is, is kind of different from mine, but I tend to laugh at a lot of things, and I personally think that's a rather healthy thing to do. It makes you live longer. But anyway... Thought I'd just mention that a little bit. We have Boyar Laszlo right here. And he has a couple of Griffin Legion units. Oh, we know. We know from the Kislev series, mini-series. If you haven't seen that, then check it out. Because we, we get a huge amount of those Griffin Legion guys. And they are actually pretty difficult to take on. So, before we head on in, as you can see, I have some Nurgle Knight armor around here. I couldn't find Nurgle Helm, which is actually kind of disappointing to me. Because... It looks really cool. It does look really cool. So, yes, there's what we're using right now. I actually decided to go for a halberd because I thought, hmm, maybe it would actually be a rather fun idea to go for a halberd for once. And we do have some Nurgle crushers here. As you can see, uh, yeah, that's not, that's not actually their face. They just have some decapitated heads on chains there, which is absolutely fantastic. But look at that. 
they actually have some really cool style helms there. Now, these guys are going to be our personal guard. If we decide to go into a siege or something along those lines, then they are going to be our follow minions. As you can see, I've renamed basically everyone. Infantry are now footsie minions. Ranged minions are, of course, archers. Horse minions are cavalry. And supportive minion is, well, this guy over here, Erasmus. He has all of our medicinal skills and things like that. So, without further ado, I think it's about time that we headed on in here. Hopefully we'll be able to catch him up. Yes, there we are. Hello. Oh, you look, you look very tasty, don't you? Oh, we're not, we're not the beast men, are we? Hmm. Well, I suppose we, we can, well, oh, he actually likes us. Oh, that's sad. Okay, how do you feel about him? Ah, well, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that you actually like him. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Let's take to the field. I am starting with a pretty, well, pretty easy fight. I would say it's probably going to be a very easy fight, but you never know. I mean, we might actually, <laughs> yeah, I highly doubt it, actually. I highly doubt it, because, yes, now that all of these things are so incredibly long, all of these names, I can't actually see. So, I, I guess we're just going to have to take their word for it and things like that. But, come on, horse minions, you must charge, you must charge in. And I must like my follow minions to follow me, thank you very much. I do have a horse, which is kind of bad, because we don't really want our Nurgle minions to have some problems. But, yes, obviously, considering we have these chosen units which are the highest tier of cavalry among us as you can see by them they are literally getting absolute slaughter going on there they are really really doing an amazing job but of course that is that is how it is i mean they have 105 or 106 hp they have about 300 weapon proficiency in basically everything and they have some extremely good mounts as well so yes this is insane. This amount of devastation is just absolutely insane. And and look at that. We just lost one unit. But that's again, that's, that's my point. We lost one unit. And think about it. If we didn't have this huge amount of chaos units, I mean chosen units, should I say, then we would have many more problems. So we are going to be taking those Nurglings, thank you very much, and the Demonettes. We do actually have a couple of those as well. Let's take some of these Marauder Champions and Chaos Zealots as well. Now, I did actually see a comment that was detailing the fact that Gotland, this 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 thing over here, this, this castle here, that actually does appear to get taken most of the time first by Kislev, or it is attacked by something or other. And I thought to myself, hey, you know what? I think it might actually be a cool idea to stick around here and see what actually happens, because we could get into sort of a siege defense style thing. Maybe that would be kind of cool. But then on the other hand, I thought to myself, well, maybe it would be a nice idea to just take something of the Kislevites, because obviously we haven't actually seen a Kislevite castle or town just yet, so I thought that might actually be a nice idea. But unfortunately, this guy over here... Radovon. He is attempting to head back and probably garrison and reinforce the garrison himself. So we are not going to allow that, unfortunately. Sorry. Yes. Because I really did not want to fight another field battle, but I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna get off my mount. It's actually kind of hard to ride on a mount when you are this huge. Yeah. That's exactly my point. Yeah, the helm does not fit at all, does it? No, the helm does not fit at all. Really wanted to try and find that Nurgle helm, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't find it. So, yeah, it's unfortunate, but what can you do? Okay. So this guy does actually outnumber us this time around. So we're going to see what we can do here. Let's get our horse minions, footsie minions, range minions. Do we have any range minions? I don't think we actually do. No, we don't. So that's absolutely fine. Now, supportive minion, you can go all the way to the back there. Thank you very much. And our follow minions can come with us. Now, as you can see, I actually do actually have... I actually do actually. Hmm. Yes. Double the actually because you just need more actually, of course. So, yes, otherwise... We do have some Chaos Dwarves that I found in a tavern. We have some Chaos Trolls, which I also found in a tavern. It's it's surprising how many drunks you can actually find in a tavern. Especially very useful units, that's for sure. I mean, look at these Chaos Trolls. They're absolutely insane. But yes, as you can see, these Nurgle Crushers have huge, I don't even know, spiked maces. Huge two-handed in actual fact. And I really should have gotten one of those instead of this, but... 
I think this is actually kind of cool. So we're just going to tell our horse minions to charge on in here because I'm pretty sure our enemies are going to have a pretty large amount of ranged units. So it would be a nice idea just to charge straight on in there because our chosen are just going to tear them apart. Literally. Really going to tear them apart. Now, let's see if I can actually get a couple of kills here with these Chosen. That's exactly the reason why I wanted to get into a siege, because then they lose a bit of their advantage. Oh, hello there. Yes. Kremel Guard, you must be eliminated. Ah, yes. Thank you. Okay, so... Oh, hello. Ah, no. Ah, okay. Yeah, I actually really like the pole arms that require you not to use a shield because if you're using a shield then obviously it automatically goes into a thrusting weapon and even though you guys you know you know I like thrusting into people but unfortunately with a shield it tends to be less than effective unless you are using some sort of lance or something along those lines but yes when you're on foot and you have a spear and a shield it is underwhelming very underwhelming to say the least so it's just kind of nice in my opinion to have something that is extremely powerful and on the on the negative side it kind of makes you a little bit more vulnerable to ranged attack and in general attack to, be, to begin with because obviously you're going to need to hit with this sharp edge here you can't hit with the wooden part obviously i mean wood is is quite deadly dependent on the wood i mean if it's if it's Wood elves, then they're, they're, they're pretty deadly, aren't they? Yes, exactly. But otherwise, oh, here we go. We might actually be able to kill something. Uh, no, ah, he killed him. He killed him just before I got there. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, that is that is very disappointing. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We do actually have... Oh, hello there. Oh, he, he decided to interrupt me. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Oh, yes. Okay, oh, here we go. Yes, there we go. Did you see that? We struck for 90 bonus damage. Not entirely sure how that was possible. Oh yes, also bear in mind, yet again, I have forgotten to go into the arena to purchase those skills. Not entirely sure why I always forget to do that, but I guess it's just because it's one of those extras that you never usually think is actually there. And then you're just like, oh, yes, but I would very much like to get that. But yes, there we are. We're actually doing super damage as it is, so it's not really necessary, I've got to say. But it would be kind of nice to have Mighty Blow at least because then we'd be able to kill these guys even easier. But maybe Ignore Pain would actually be a better option. I think Ignore Pain would probably be one of the first things I would actually gain if I was going for sort of a full series, because Ignore Pain, staying alive a little bit more, that's definitely going to make a huge difference to your survival rates. So I think that's actually pretty nice. But otherwise, there we are. We, we've only lost two units. Two, two units total. Oh, yes. Yeah. But as you can see, we lost one chosen there as well. Okay, so I am actually... I actually don't want to take any prisoners right now. So we're not going to be doing that. Also, bear in mind that if you are going to have such an amazing army, as you can see here, chosen are 103 per one. And as you can see, we have a weekly cost of over 9,000. Oh yes, it is over 9,000. Oh, there we go. So those two battles, we gained five chosen. So that's pretty good. That is actually pretty good. But do bear in mind that you're going to lose a lot more because you're not going to have as many chosen as I do. So there is a critical mass type thing going on there. And of course, when you have a critical mass of units, it's a lot easier to win battles that way. So we are going to head on over to Area Grad and attempt to take them on. So let's have a look here. Let's do this. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, we actually did survive. The building. Oh, no. Okay, so, yes. It appears as though Kislev and the Kislevites have relatively normal castle layout. So that's good to know, at least. I mean, it's, it's always good to know what you're actually facing when you go into these things. Would have been nice to have a little bit of a unique castle layout, but who knows? Maybe there's actually a little bit of a different sort of um, way we can run through all of the battlements. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Yes, okay, so follow minions. Follow me. Yes, unfortunately these Nurgle Crushers are actually being bombarded by huge amounts of arrows because, of course, we, 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 we don't have shields. Well, the Nurgle minions don't have shields, which is kind of sad, but yes, what can you do? Okay, so let's do this. I am, I am ready. I am prepared to eliminate everyone in my path. And this is where Mighty Blow would actually come in handy. Really? I'm actually taking damage from these guys? I have my shield up and everything. I mean, really? Come on now. 
Okay, come on. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Ah, we do not want to fall off the edge, do we? Yeah. Okay, I guess I'm going to just have to wait until our units get in there, and then we'll see where we head to from there, I guess. I mean, unless all of our units are just going to eat their faces off and we're going to win instantly, that might be the that might be the case. All right, so we are getting up the ladder now, amazingly enough. I actually thought it would take a lot longer to do that. It did, well, it did actually take a bit of time, but thankfully enough, our units have now gotten inside. I am actually kind of surprised that we are even able to fit on this ladder, because literally, I mean, just, just look at it. It is the thinnest ladder ever. I am actually kind of surprised that the Chaos would have brought a ladder so incredibly small for their huge statures. So, yes, there is that. Of course, now we are going to be dealing some damage. These Kremel Guards, as we know, are very effective. They deal a lot of damage, so I'm very hopeful that they will not be able to take out too many of our units before they go down. Because they are technically Berserker kind of units, because they don't have shields. They have huge two-handed axes. And as we've seen in the Kislev, well, the Kislev episodes, they are actually able to do some insane damage. They actually went mano y mano with one of the largest units of the Chaos, which is actually pretty impressive, suffice it to say. So, let's have a look. Ooh, okay, so we have a couple of archers going on here, and I'm going to switch to my two-handed sword. Yes, I actually have a two-handed sword as well, because this is my bastard sword, so you can actually use it in both hands. Oh, yes, that seems a... Yes, exactly. The biggest units they are able to take out. And uh, yes, we are among one of the biggest units at least. We have about 85, 86 HP. So yes, us getting taken out there. That's not a surprise because Kremel Guards, very good. They are very, very good. So yes, otherwise we just need to wait for these guys to take them out. But I really do not see them actually succeeding with defending against our guys here. Because I mean, just, just look at them. Absolutely insane, insane units. So yeah, there it is. Well, that's that's a, that's a little bit disappointing, but I, I guess I couldn't really expect anything else, really, because they are technically a human faction, and human factions. I'm always leaning to well, I'm leaning away from the human factions because they they're just not kind of special enough, if you know what I mean. Because I mean, wouldn't you rather see a Skaven town or an Orc town? Or something along those lines. Even uh, I, I mean, I, that's the thing. Even the Tomb Kings, the Tomb Kings might actually have something to offer in regards of sort of unique layouts. So maybe we could actually take a look at that sometime in the future. That would actually be kind of cool as well, because the last time I played as one of the Tomb Kings was the first ever War Sword Conquest series, and that was obviously the previous version. So it would be kind of nice to see an updated sort of look at that. So there we are. That is a rather nice victory for us, and we have... Wow, we actually do get a huge amount of units to rescue here. Warrior of Corn, no less. And we do have some undivided Chaos Pit Kings here. Heralds of Corn. oh yes, it's about time that we actually gain some of those. Oh yeah, there we go, that's what we like to see. Okay, so, oh, we have five chosen too. And what else are we going to be getting? I, I don't know, I think that's it actually. Okay, so yes, let's go with that. And, yeah, I'm not going to be taking any of the loot, thank you. And, yeah, now this is where it becomes a little bit amusing, because we actually, well, we do have the opportunity to create our own kingdom. So, I'm probably going to be calling it something like the Minions of all time. Yes, the Minions of all time, because they are the all-time best. They are the all-time best Minions. And, of course, there we are. We have succeeded. Now, we are a relatively similar red to the Realm of Chaos. We're a little bit brighter, I would say. So that's kind of nice. But otherwise, that will be it for this episode and for the Chaos miniseries. I've taken a look at most of the high tier and we have done a siege. We've done a few battles versus the Kislevites. And yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty nice. So I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.